I know a lot of people have been saying, Mark, you need to get into crafts. You you have the spirit. You are like Michael's incarnate. Okay. I love crafts. And I decided that I was going to finally take the big step. I was going to take the big plunge. I was going to get into crafting. Now this pig was in rough shape. It's got all sorts of dilemmas with its life. It looks terrible. You know what? We're going to jazz it up. Jazz it up. All right, let's get this pig painted. All right, let's take a look at its face, look at its butt. We do not have the colors we want. We need that money green. All right, so we got our different colors of green with some white paint, stirring it up. All right, let's get this pig painted. All right, so you wanna just kind of cover it with as much green as in the areas that you wanna cover it with green. Now don't forget to have your beard net because we always want to make sure that you're practicing PPE safety. All right, get it to the side here. Get it around its butt. Get it on its neck. Basically want to get this pig covered top to bottom where you want it to be that money green. All right. You can keep the handle dry as to make sure that you have something to grab on, but let's just get it painted, right? I was ready to get going. I have no patience. All right, let's get its belly again. Let's get that crotch. You know what I'm saying. All right, we got its little more on its under neck, its double chin. Now, let me tell you something. You got to get those feet flossing. You got to get feet that look like they're made for walking in the streets and in the sheets. I want shoes on this pig, so I went with a, a nice golden foot, you know what I mean? Like this pig is walking to success. So get it with its lefties and its righties. Now I don't know if these are open toes or if these are what, but you gotta get it in the armpit. Ooh, piggy armpit, you know what I'm saying? Mm, get that pig pit. All right, and then, and, you know, moving on here, we got, we got to get it over on more of its feet. I don't know why I went so hard on its feet, but I really loved its feet. I just, they're cute. You don't see a lot of cute pig feet and butts like that. All right, let's get back to its feet. Uh, if any fans want to send in pictures of their feet, we'll take them. Work on those feet. And let's see what we're gonna do here next. Alright, let's, let's get back to the butt. Let's get that butt with another coat here. You know what I mean? Like, you want a booty money. A money booty. Alright. You just want it, you just want it to be thick. You know what I mean? Like, you want this pig to have some junk in its trunk, so that's why I went heavy on that booty paint. Alright, let's get it. It's Widow's Peak and around its, its haunches. Now this is where it started really coming together, where you could see, you know, what this pig was ultimately going to be, what its life was going to be spent doing. Alright, just working that hand on it, working it. Because we want to make sure what you're holding is golden, if you know what I'm saying. That golden, golden, holding. Alright. Try to do a little style with it, mix it up. Try and give it a little sass, give it a little funk. I don't know if it's cute yet, but I see cute potential. And that's a main goal here, what we're trying to do is, I want to present you with cute cute that you can't stop. Alright, here, let's get on 
into some different parts of its neck and its head. Let's get back to that handle, baby. All right. Now we got a little bit of the pink working in that flower. I don't know if by the colors you're starting to see what this baby's gonna be at the end. But you gotta get that pink in there and that purple. All right, get that face. You're seeing it. This is this is a this is a pig coming to life. This that this is that. Raising up out of the waters, save your pig of the Lord. Alright. Gotta make sure it's got a face that a mother can love. So we got some eyes and a, working on that nose. Let's get its fucking neck. Get that, that rind, if you know what I'm saying. That might be a dead giveaway to what this baby's gonna be at the end, but that rind. Give it some makeup. We don't want to go into the ball looking like trash. It just looks at you and knows you're in the room. Working that face, working them eyes. Got that 1990s heavy eyeliner. Alright. Oh, I bet you know what those are. That's that watermelon ovaries. That's, that's, that's that seed, that's that eggs. Now, we went with three per each petal of pink, but if you want to go four or five seeds, six seeds, you go right ahead. Well, it's finally done. I'm real happy with the way it turned out. We got some jewels on it. When I set out to do this project, I didn't think that it would turn out as good as it did. The watermelon coloring is what I was really going for. I wanted to keep the face natural. I didn't want people to be confused if it was or was not a pig. It's definitely a pig. Uh, we needed to add the jewels afterwards. We were just low on jewels. It's a, a normal thing around here. I really wanted to make it feel like it was looking back at you when you entered a room. Let's take a look at it. Oh, that is weird. I love the pig's little handle. There's no way to take the money out. Put your dreams in here. Hey. Inside you? of every watermelon is a little tiny pig. It's funny to me. It's absolutely not funny. Pigs are just a, a natural way to tell somebody you care. And watermelon, that's just a party. <laughs>